Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and you are hanging out on the Citadel with me just outside of West Hill, the giant town that I've been building over the last three and a half years. We're working on the pumpkin farm again today. I believe I can hear a creeper outside somewhere. I heard the footsteps shuffling around, so I've, I'm preparing for a surprise somewhere nearby. Yep, there he is. I knew it. I knew it. Right. We're going to get him, rid of him the easy way. Give everybody that's new an overview. And gives me a chance to answer a question in chat. Cosmic Dancer already uh, answered it. Also, hi, Cosmic. Uh, but Corax Chimera wanted to know uh, what is lurking and how does lurking help the streamer? So for folks that don't know, lurking is when you're in chat and you're watching the stream, but perhaps you're doing something else like cleaning the house or doing the dishes or hanging out with your kids, whatever. And you're not able to really type and engage. So it's a way of telling the streamer that you're here and you're watching, but you might not be right at the keyboard. And so lurking is a great way to support your favorite streamers because if you want to increase their viewership, you can just pop on their stream whenever they're live, even if you're not sitting there. Like you can just, you can AFK, you can completely go away. Um, I do it all the time when I raid somebody. Uh, I'll raid someone like yesterday, I raided Tadpole Milk. Uh, left everybody in Tadpole stream. I left his stream going on my monitor and I went to take a shower and get ready to go out. And I just, I think I left it running the full time that I was away. But it's just because I like Tadpole and I want his, you know, the more people that he has in his stream, the better. And it seems in like insignificant that it's just you. But you think about like if 10, 12, 40 people were all lurking in your stream, then that's a lot of eyeballs that Twitch says, oh, this is a popular stream. And so that it could end up being higher on like the search list and stuff like that. Cosmic did a really good jam job answering in stream too, or in, um, in chat. No, it's not uh, necessary and does not add or subtract anything. It's more about like, let's say, uh, Corax, if you were to come here all the time, let's say we saw you every Saturday afternoon and you ended up making some friends in chat and you show up and everybody's like, hey, Corax, how's it going? And you have to say like, I I'm fine, but like I'm up to my eyeballs and cleaning the house. So I'm going to lurk today. And that way people know that you're not there to chat, but you're there to watch and support and all that kind of stuff. So it's all very cool. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off on the pumpkin farm. I do really like this like wagon trail. I want to make it look nicer. Uh, but something that I've noticed if we fly down here is that uh, I think the wagon is too big. And I don't like the way that it overlaps my little flower patch. So like, see how the flowers and everything are overlapped? So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch this back. And I think we're going to shorten the wagon. So the back wheel is going to stay where it is, but I think we're just going to like take all of this and just nudge it back. So I'm going to go get some, some blocks for that. We're also going to change that tree a bit too, but I also need food stuff, rocket stuff, and now block stuff. So trap doors, signs, I need more signs. Nope. Come on. Uh, that's good. We need labs. I'm going to try the dark oak fence gates just to see. I also wanted to try jungle to see if that looks good too. Don't have any jungle signs. Oh, you do. Uh, is that all I need? I think so. Have you ever considered making prints of West Hill? Like prints of the screenshots? No, I have not. I think it would be very interesting and very cool to do like a digital painting um, to get my art skills back on, on par. It would be really fun to do like a... Uh, 
what I was thinking, like a concept art sort of thing. So take a good look here. When you come past, like when you come into the pumpkin farm, you see all this stuff, right? And then you get to here, and the next thing you're looking at is over there, and it feels like it's been overlapped a bit. So we're going to take these, bump them back, and then I'll double check this change. And I'm curious as to whether these might look a little bit better. Whoops. So it definitely looks better. I just need to maybe fix the rest of this. I think maybe these have got to be plank, um, planks now. A lot smaller. But no, I've not thought about doing prints on, on Canvas. I, I don't know if people are that interested in stuff like that. I've never known anybody do prints of Minecraft. I used to do prints all the time of my artwork. I mean, there, you can still technically, I think, buy prints on my website, but I, um, I don't have a fulfillment office. So it's been a while since I've been able to really make use of it. So obviously we'll want to have pumpkins of different sizes in there. And that's going to be tricky. Maybe we'll put a hay bale in there as well, just because we're not going to have anything to put the signs up against. But I think that looks pretty good. I feel like... We could maybe lower the back of it. I don't know. No, I guess we can. That works. I mean, it just, it's very flat. I kind of want the wheels to stick out more. Well, you know, I guess we could... Oh, that is on the outside. Never mind. I was going to double up on the wheels, but they're on the outside space. It's certainly better than before. I wonder if this might work better darker. What do we think? I mean, the sun's going down, it makes it hard. True purple, hello. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you. Ancient Yorkshire, alas. Hello. Lurking is my default state. Currently cooking dinner whilst watching. Very cool. What are you cooking? He says to the lurker that can't answer because their hands are full of chicken or something. Uh, I think that might be a little bit too much of a checkerboard.
Yeah. It was better before. We might even be able to come up with something like a pattern or something for the middle lines. Mm. Doesn't quite do it. I'd rather use a mini block or something. CJ subscribing with Prime 32 months. That's amazing. Thanks so much, CJ. Hey, Cosmic, I had dinner last night at like 10:30. So, lunch is just the middle meal. It matters not when it happens. All right, I need some coarse dirt. Some rooted dirt. I'm going to need some brown mushroom blocks, brown, brown, I'm definitely going to need some green and some moss. I need something, maybe this will work. I need some light grass, but I don't want it to be, I guess we could try wool. Oh, you know what? Terracotta sometimes works well. I'll try that. I basically I want to kind of mat down the grass. The idea here. I think the coarse dirt is going to be too dark. So I feel like we need to kind of get in here with some stuff like this. That sort of works. I like that. I don't want these to just connect on the corners. Still feels really flat. I guess we could use some moss carpet. Homemade chicken and vegetable pot pie. I wasn't far off <laughs> with the chicken. Uh, ancient New Yorkshire last. Thanks for sharing. That's awesome. We won't distribute anymore by all means. The pot pie takes, takes precedent. That sounds amazing. I had smoked meatballs and a fresh baguette with some cheese and pickled carrots last night i really like barbecue in the summertime especially leftover barbecue because it's really easy to reheat it tastes amazing because it's got all that smoky flavor built into it and then it um because it's been so hot here lately we don't have to you don't have to cook right you can just 
just pick up the stuff that you want. Not sure if that's too much. I guess we could always put some grass in here. The carpets feel like a little bit too much. Oh, leaves. We can use the leaf trick. Leaf trick. I wanted to try those jungle colors too, didn't I? And grass. Oh, you know what else might be fun? Maybe some pink petals. This might be able to highlight the path. I haven't tried wool yet either. It actually works pretty good. And if we want to distract from it, we could do... Maybe we can just do a couple of these. All I'm doing is trying to get something on the outside of this path to be higher. So it looks a little bit more like it, it's sunken in. Oh, those are the wrong blocks. Maybe more of the darker stuff in through here. Do I have what's? Guess I could try the darker terracotta, maybe. Pink, are you in the right stream? Maybe. Uh, darker terracotta. And the bushes, right? Don't forget the bushes. Thank you. 
Man, I caught the mic just in time. Sneeze caught up on me. Now is that too much maybe? Maybe we can put more of that under the cart. Poodle Pilot, Pirate, Pirate, not Pilot. Poodle Pirate has a raid coming in. Party of Nine, thanks so much. I don't necessarily recall seeing your name in the raid before. Welcome in. Thanks for sending over your viewers. What have you been up to on stream today? sort of working. Oh, that is not the right color. What is a darker color we can put under there? It's not as easy as stone. There's not a lot of dark greens in the game to give yourself nice textures. I think that works, but then I think we have to get rid of these. I don't know whether these are going to look better if they're connected on the edges like this or not. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? Uh, who let the dogs out? It's a poodle raid. That's a great tagline. Uh, yeah, I think I raided you a couple weeks ago. I'm starting a new cyberpunk base in an ancient city. Very cool. Welcome in. Uh, a bunch of new people. Very, very fun. Thanks so much. Uh, I was working in your stream and running errands, says Jen. Very cool. Um, well, folks that are coming in, if you were not part of the other raid that Poodle Pirate sent along a couple weeks ago, my name is Joel Duggan, as it says on the tin. I podcast and I stream full time. You can check out the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe on YouTube or wherever you listen to your podcasts. The Spawn Chunks now has a video component. Um, Cosmic, if, can, do we have a link? I mean, it's just the Spawn Chunks on YouTube, but do we have a link? We should maybe get a link for um, the Spawn Chunks. Honestly, we should just change the Spawn Chunks, a Minecraft podcast link, the Nightbot one, to the YouTube channel. That would probably be easier, wouldn't it? Anyway, I do the spawn chunks with uh, with Johnny Pixel Riffs. For folks that don't know, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe this is a little bit much. The pink flowers really throw it off on the map, unfortunately. Too 
too big. I wish we had other stuff. Lower grass would be nice. Sort of working. I think we need just a little bit more beef in this on this side. I think we have to get rid of this. I feel like that makes sense. Too many in a row. I think that looks like wagon trails. I was gonna try and do it with just green, but I don't know if that's really possible. I actually like the wool quite a bit. Uh, when is the four-year mark for this world? This is actually coming up on seven years. I want to say, is it the 14th of July, Cosmic? It's mid-July is seven years. This particular area will be four years in November or September. If you go look up the pumpkin farm on the YouTube VODs, it'll tell you when that started. So there's there's two start dates. There's the when I started this farm, and then there's when I started this gate. And those are the two those are the two big dates for this area. I did a lot of this stuff as well, but I at that point I don't think I really had a plan. All this I didn't really consider part of Westel. This is considered part of like the medieval fantasy kind of continent. So this was kind of this is like a group build. This is like a community build. But then once you get to this bridge, this is my project. So these two river deltas are my my project. Mid-July for seven years. Yeah, that's what I thought. I really should know that. I really should know that. I don't know if rocks would help. Rocks might help.
Mr. Nilla Bean. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. <laughs> Cosmics is having a hard time recalling how old I am. Yeah. Me too. I don't know if this will work. It works there. Hmm. I don't think I like the flowers. They're a little distracting. I like the rocks. I think I just need a couple more versions. I think I need some uh, tough. Happy to support the stream with 100 bits. Happy I can't say much during the week. Or sorry, I, I can't say much during the week. <laughs> Mind your media. Sorry, I didn't mean to forward and slip there. Um, thanks so much. Always good to see you. Folks that were just uh, here earlier, Korax, you were talking about lurking. Mind Trip Media tunes in almost every day while they're at work. And work lurks. And so we don't really get to talk to them during the week. I think that's pretty good. I feel like that looks like wagon trails as best as you can in Minecraft anyway. I think the only thing that's bugging me is this piece here. I think I should connect this as... Uh, out of curiosity, I wonder if any of these would look good as um, path blocks. Hmm. No, it's a bit distracting. This is brown mushroom block for anybody wondering. Okay, I think I think I'm sold. I think the tree is next. Well, I guess if that's where the cart's going to stay, I should finish the actual details on the cart. So let's get a hay bale and a couple of armor stands. Put some of this stuff away.
hay bales. Uh, I'll just make some. Pumpkins. I don't have any melons as far as I know. I do kind of want to know what a melon would look like. I do know where I can go get some. I should have done that when I was back there the other day. I don't, do I have any? I don't even think I have melon slices here. I'll check the farm just in case. No. I don't think I would have brought any melons with me anyway. What mod do you have for the uh, shulkers to show the items? That is the shulker plus. It's a plus sign mod from uh, Iskal 85's team. Mm, that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the metadata or whatever it needs to show up with like cool stuff like that. Um, but it is by Captain Wutax. If you do Shulker Plus, I think it actually has a plus sign on it now. But if you look for Shulker Plus, P-L-U-S, on modrinth.com.org, I can't remember whether it's .com, um, then you can find it there. I don't like the blocks, but the items look good. And it's great if you've got multiple kinds of wood. You can just, three different brown Shulker boxes, but it's like oak, spruce, and dark oak, right? Very easy to discern. So one problem here, of course, is that the um, signs are going to pop off. I think I'd like to put the hay bale on this side. And then back here, I think what I want to do, I'm not sure, I don't know if we can do this with a full block. That's a slab. So we can put an armor stand on a slab. That's interesting. to remove the looks about right to me Back 
Batty, hello, welcome in. Love the leaves you add underneath the magnet. It really brings in shadow. Thanks very much, yeah. It's a fun trick. Uh, I started doing it inside with beds. I'll show you here in just a minute. So this whole floor is all tough and cobblestone and andesite with a couple of other highlights. But underneath the bed is deep slate. And it sort of makes a shadow under the bed. And it looks really cool with shaders on. A little softer. Monsters be under the bed. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. That's not as tall as I wanted it to be. I mean, you can still see it. We could fake it and have it be like not touching the ground there. So I could, I could nudge it up by one. Like maybe if I wanted to do this. So technically it's floating, but it looks better from back here. Oh, Blast Jordan, you've never noticed the, the bedrock under the, not the bedrock, the deep slate under the bed? It depends. You just choose choose a block that's slightly darker than what you're using. Uh, sometimes the woods are too harsh. Uh, for example, dark oak and spruce doesn't really work. But now that we've got um, mangrove, like you could probably work in some bark blocks there. Yeah, I don't think it's really going to bug me. Cosmic, I think that's pretty good. We'll lock that in. Now I'd like to have something a little taller, but again, we're stuck with this thing here. Uh, I don't really know. I can't do a mini block. What I could do is put a barrel back there. Maybe. We could maybe do like a full smooth dark oak and then, oh, a chest would be good. Crate. We might even, it might be cool to do it that way, right? Because then it's asymmetrical. This feels like a little loading part of the wagon. This feels like, like that feels more like a shelf and this feels a little bit more useful. That or we can do, this is just my note block for people that don't know. I think I like the barrel better. Won't be able to see it from this side. So it's really about this view. I think the barrel might go better from a viewing. And I think I like it better. Out like that. Unless. It looks better the other way. No. Okay. Let's try that. So I know it already has its own nozzle, but sometimes you can get away with one of these. Yeah, I know. The pressure plates is driving me crazy. Mm. 
No. Okay. Neither. I like neither. And then on top of that, we could put another pumpkin, maybe. It's that or a uh, barrel. I think the pumpkin is probably what we're going to go with. I'll try the barrel just in case, but I'm pretty sure we're going to go pumpkin. Yeah. Looks all right, but maybe we'll put the barrel up front. Sort of like a little fryer tuck wagon. Have something to drink on the seat next to you. I think it would help break this up a bit. So maybe what we'll do... This is going to float. Yeah, so what we'll do is... Put it on our armor stand. Well, that's really small. Let's try the head. Someone was just asking about this in the comments. I think it was Sheep Scalibur or Squealit? I think it was Squealit was asking in the comments on the Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel. And they were asking about how to make mini mini blocks. And the answer is using a um, small armor stand. And then if you put that in the hand again, it goes like just wee, really tiny. Not really useful. Something you might want to put on a sign, but not really. But then this is just the same size as the mini block, but then of course you can turn off gravity on the stand and then get that lined up. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's the wagon done. And all the the grounds around it, I think, are pretty solid. I haven't done a lot over here because I want to do a, the custom tree next. So we'll switch out our inventory for the kind of stuff we need for the tree. Actually, you know what? I'm going to empty my inventory and then I'm going to take my break just a tad early. Just so I don't get into the middle of the tree stuff. I was going to see what some jungle wood was going to look like on that, wasn't I? Don't remember. I don't think this is going to look good. Hmm. 
No. And again, I don't think out here. Oh, crap. That might be too much like the ground. Yeah, too close to the ground color. Okay. Was worth checking just because I was curious. Don't know about that rock there. I had hay bales in there. <laughs> Crap, I didn't even notice. I'm going to leave these in here. We're going to do a little bit of scooching around. I never thought about the bamboo blocks. Right, and the green terracotta was not the right color. Okay. So when I come back from my break, we'll work on the custom tree. And I think the issue I have with it now is that it blocks a little bit of the, of the cart, but that's not the big deal. I think the problem is that I need to move the trunk like one block north i think i need to put the trunk maybe it just has to go there either way i've got to change its position i think or at the very least i need to have it curve sooner like maybe it start maybe it, it comes down over here uh, and i think i need to remove this leaf there at the very least you know what i mean like even that alone is, is better i do find it weird that it kind of touches the view there but we might be able to do a little bit we might be able to put some vines or something here to help so anyway i'm gonna scoot away for a break if you're new to the channel if you came in with that raid uh thanks again for that uh, Poodle Pirate. Uh, folks, if you haven't already, please go follow Poodle Pirate and see what they were up to on uh, on stream. But uh, I take a break once an hour and it gives me a chance to refresh my drink. You should too, maybe even grab a friend. We're trying to grow the channel. We're always happy for raids, but one of the best ways to help your friends on their streams is to recommend streams to your friends. So poke a friend in the arm, tell them, hey, Joel's live, come hang out. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Batty, thanks. Uh, the font for the Citadel and the Citadel Cafe is called Copacetic. I want to say it's a Google font. Probably a bunch of mobs out here. We'll just fly away and get rid of them. I was thinking the other day, if I wanted to take a break from doing anything in West Hill, there's this path up the hill here that's woefully underfinished that I need to finish. I also didn't uh, look to see if I had any drip leaf. Pixel Rift suggested on Monday's show. I think that I should try to put small drip leaf. I've got regular drip leaf. And I've got one small drip leaf. We can. Tr I just want to put one down and kind of see what it looks like. But I think it has to be put next to water, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'd have to put water down, I guess. Maybe we could hide it in between the pumpkins or something. The problem with regular drip leaf is I, I think they grow. All right, so I need oak leaves. Shears. Mangrove wood. And maybe some of this. I don't know if this is going to look good. No, that really doesn't help. I feel like I think we have to move the tree. Yeah, it just moves it far enough that it doesn't overlap. That's not bad. Oh, I need some roots. I do this one over here. Soul soil, soul sand. Okay. I think maybe we change the ground around it a little bit so we can get a little bit more going on. There's just so much green everywhere. I think it'd be nice if we get some brown stuff going on. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? Crap. Maybe I can get away with something like that? No. Hmm. 
So I need some carpet or some height changes. What else do I want? I think this has to be brown. Oops. Always something you forget. I think I would prefer this over here. Yeah. That works, I think. Now, which way do I want the branches to go? I think it would be fun to have something in here. Yep. Now I think I wanted this to move. Cannot wait to not be stepping on pressure plates, I can tell you that right now. What I tend to do with these custom trees is build them kind of square first and then stretch them out and make them a little bit more unique. Maybe we'll go up here. Whoops. How are you finding the video element of the spawn trunk so far, both comfort level and on a technical level? Um, I'm disappointed on a technical level. I need to get a better camera. Uh, I'm happy with my shot. I actually think it's a pretty interesting shot with my streaming computer behind me. And there's a different le different Lego set on the desk every week on the work desk. Um, I'd like to have a wider shot. I'd like to be a little bit farther away from the camera. Uh, the camera on the iMac is also a weird lens. Uh, you don't know this, I don't think. But um, me on the sponge chunks on video, I actually don't look quite like that. It, it kind of elongates my face. It kind of pulls my nose and my teeth a little bit forward. It's a, it's a weird kind of fisheye effect that I didn't realize it did until I looked at it. And I was like, mm, I don't think I talk like that. And I, um, I think I, I could definitely do better. So I've been looking for a spare camera. Um, 
I think I want to put some sound panels up. I really need to clean this studio. Like I, I really need to gut the studio and, and do a good cleaning and get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, so there's that. I, for whatever reason, feel a little out of sorts in the process. I don't find, I think it's because I'm trying to do the intro now without reading it. And so that it ends up feeling kind of stiff. So I just need to do some work and really memorize the intro and try not to ad lib. And then I can just look down the barrel of the camera and I want to, Oh, nothing inspires cleaning like being on camera. It's not that the studio is messy on camera. It's that I don't feel my studio is very organized. And so it feels off kilter, but it's not because anybody can see that it's off kilter. It's that that I just feel that way because of the um, the way that things are set up. Maybe just the one. That's pretty good for a lower shape. Might want to put in some stuff over here. Now we go to the top. XK, welcome in. Uh, scaffolding. More leaves. That was a waste. You know, that might, this might be done. Really not much more to do up here. It's a little squat, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll add some bulk up there.
Maybe that'll help. Kira, hello, welcome in. Good to see you again. Nope, too much. So flat. That's a little bit better. It's hard at this scale. It's funny, it looks pretty good on all the angles except for the one that I wanted to, to look good at. I'm going to try putting a uh, oak trapped or a fence gate whose fence gate up there without anything con to connect to it uh, sort of doesn't really work I wonder if that's there I put branches in here. So you can't really see anything. Sort of ties it together a little bit. Yeah. Elkhorn, welcome in. From my own perspective, this is Cosmic. If you want some feedback, I feel like you'd be doing fine. Find it really engaging to watch. Hadn't noticed anything in terms of quality camera-wise. I think it's not that my camera is bad. It's just that Johnny has a very nice camera. And so I want to try to get up to par. I have to do a lot of fiddling every week to get my shot to look right. Uh, I would like to just be able to turn it on and set it and forget it. But first things first, I have sound panels. They are here. I will put those up and then that will determine where I can put the camera after I've got the sound panels up. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. I, might, I wanted to go a little bit lighter down here, but it works on these trees because we've got oak trunks I guess I could just use some coarse dirt couldn't I maybe that's the problem yeah
No, oh, that's not going to be brown. Hmm. Nope. Really wish we had stairs and slabs in the bark textures. That would be nice. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. Maybe oak. Yeah, and maybe it looks more like leaves on the ground. Actually, that would be good here too. Sure. Cool. I forget that you can put those on the other underside of things. I think it's time to walk away from that before I just noodle with it for the entirety of the stream. So I'm going to go refill my inventory with some texture blocks. I'm going to move this to road stuff. I need road stuff. Okay, so now that we've got this done, oh, coarse dirt. Now that we've got this done, we can work on this part of the path. Which is 
was almost there. Didn't do anything down there. So I wanted to bring this around. I feel like I might have too many of these. And there's nothing happening in the middle there. Yeah, and some of these don't really vibe all that well. See, that makes sense. That's coarse dirt. Maybe... Something like that. Or maybe we just put this here. It's gonna look so much better when I get my pebble texture back. Yeah. Those, I feel, still need something, too. It's not... I feel like I want to put in more stone, maybe, in front of here. Maybe something like that. Mythical Emmy. Thanks very much for the raid. Welcome in. What were we up to on stream today? I feel like I'm missing something in here. Hmm. Getting distracted by abundance of shipwrecks. Very cool. Folks, if you want to go check out what shipwrecks and other shenanigans Mythical Emmy was up to on Twitch, go ahead and click that follow button. Go over and say hello the next time that they're streaming. Once again, Emmy, thanks so much for sharing your viewers. If you're new, folks, my name is Joel Duggan, and I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs, the Citadel Cafe podcast with myself and some friends, and I stream here on Twitch. 
Very easy to find. Yeah, there's just too much going on here. Nothing in there either. It's a little bit better. Maybe we'll try spruce there. So many textures to choose from. I think that's pretty good. A little on the dark side for up there. Maybe we'll put that down here. that works maybe some spruce up here nope thanks for all the links in chat cosmic appreciate it <laughs> That's too bright.
Mm -hmm. I guess it works. Out of curiosity, maybe this will look good too. I think I like that better. Oh, maybe we'll just leave it. Maybe we'll just leave it. Sometimes less is more. Not bad, not bad. I'm not going to do these rows yet because obviously we haven't done the vegetation on the pumpkins, but I think I wanted to change that into a smaller pumpkin. And I definitely want to get rid of some of these um, sea pickles. Not all of them, but some of them. Then we'll spread some of these over this way. Cosmic Dancer, thanks for being awesome. It must feel very funny to have to ban somebody right after you welcome them in. Love it when the trash takes itself out. Yep. No guessing. You're just like, and you're done. I had that yesterday too. Somebody was spamming IP addresses in chat. Yeah, I think that's a better balance with the stems and the pumpkins. We'll get a couple more. So usually with this, I just kind of look into the, you know, the distance and see where I might want one of these, where it seems to need a little bit of height. that balances it out. That works pretty well. Time to sleep again. Sonic, thanks very much. Yeah, the pumpkin patches really come together. 
that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow is hopefully finishing up the pumpkin patch. I'd like to say we'd finish the whole build, but I have the wall yet to do. So I still have this kind of decoration on the wall to do all the way along here. And it goes all the way around the whole thing. Plus I've got the gate to do all this wall. This wraps all the way around to the other path. I'm considering this path down to the water part of this build. So like I've still got that to do. And then I have to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with this area here. I feel like I could maybe put in a little wood pile. That might be something we can do today, actually. Just to wrap things up. I'm not in love with this path. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, but it's not amazing either. All right, might be a good time to walk away from it briefly. Yeah, these look okay though. These are done. I quite like the way that those all turned out. Yeah. Is good. All right, let's put in a little wood pile, maybe. Makes sense. Well, there's a wood pile there. Crap. So what are we going to put here? Compost pit? I don't even know how you would do that. I guess mud. I don't know. Just kind of looks like a pile of nothing. Makes sense for them to have something that could store dead pumpkins. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Dead pumpkins. I don't know what we have that would look like dead pumpkins. Mangrove does look like compost.
It's not bad, you know? I think it sort of works. Especially if we start adding in some grass behind here. Stripped bamboo block with a sea pickle for a dead pumpkin. Uh, maybe. Feels pretty good. I think there might actually be some bushes back here. That takes up a little bit of space. Yeah, not a bad idea. Thanks. Don't need those. Probably don't need the dirt. Wanted to see if either buttons from there or buttons from here looked good. the dark one yeah I wish we had different things we could layer on this like uh, like we have vines like I wish I could put stuff on there can't think of anything though Glow lichen, unfortunately, does not look good at all with my shaders, and um, that I want something dark. Like I'm looking for something dark, like roots or something. I kind of wish we had a hanging root texture that was like a vine. Like if we could do something like this, but with something brown, that would be cool. Dead coral wouldn't work. But that's not bad. That's um, a small portion of this area. So now there's just this strip. I've got to figure out what to do with this strip. I guess I could put like a elevated garden, a raised bed or something. Or I could temporarily put in like individual barrels of something.
Thank you, Cosmic. Trios doesn't really fit the vibe. Giant Cinderella pumpkin. The prize pumpkin. It would be funny to build a really big one. I'm thinking more like... Um, back a bit, so like there, there, and there. Then I don't know what we put in them. Maybe they're just supposed to be compost. Like maybe we just kind of extend the idea of the compost over this way. It's actually not bad. I just I want something on the top of them though. There's no brown flowers. And maybe we could Spice it up a little bit with some signs. Probably not these ones, but we'll we'll see. Dead bush. Yeah, maybe. No, that they lose their they lose their function, I think, if we do that. Feel like all of this would get changed a bit. Maybe put in some darker grass. Whoops. Yeah, I think this kind of works. Need something more unique right there though. Oh, that's better.
Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. A little bit simple over this way. Do I have a... I do. Sapling. Well, that worked out rather well, didn't it? Don't know about this one out here. So it sort of feels like there's like a path that someone might follow and go around. I think that actually works. Thanks very much, Sonic. That's a that was a great idea. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. So that's, um, what do we have now? We've got, we got a personal carrot and potato garden, pig pen, compost, duck pond with no ducks, uh, just overgrown pumpkin stuff. The pumpkin patch goes all the way down here. Then we've got the wagon in the tree. We've got, um, more pumpkin patch. Obviously this needs to be done. So this is, all right, well, we don't have to come up with anything new. We now know all the different build elements. So we've got the pumpkin patch, the wall, and the path over here that's gonna look really cool. It's gonna go down to the um, river. We'll have a path that comes down here and goes down this way. Specifically so that you can come down here and look how pretty my waterfall is. This is actually quite cool too. I'll have you guys to do that side of the river. This will be a real pain, but it'll look good in the end. I've done some similar stuff. If we go over here, <clears throat> get another path that goes off the road down to the water over here. And it took a while to get right, but once we get it done, it really worked out well. That brings you down to here. And then of course, the secret passage. Into the church graveyard. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I dig it. That's great. Very cool. All right, I'm going to see who's live. I'd love to pass you all along to uh, somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just refresh my feed here. I need to try this new raid finder that I keep on uh, opening up for a raid browser. Uh, what is going to be our victim? I mean, target for a raid. 
You know what? We haven't raided Ginger the Lily in a lot, little while. Let's raid Ginger. Hopefully they're going to be live for a bit. Uh, I think you will enjoy the rest of your time this afternoon. Uh, please be sure to follow here on Twitch. Also check out things like the Sponge Chunks podcast on YouTube or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. You can also check out things like the Citadel Cafe, another podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. I want to talk about the Acolyte. I've watched season uh, episode three and four of season one, and I've got I have thoughts and feelings. And I'd like to talk about that on a new episode coming up. You can do things like follow me on social media. It's at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. Check out things like Patreon. It's a great way to support me on stream. It's only two bucks a month. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than Twitch. And it will uh, do a lot for me because I get a bigger cut over at Patreon. So check it out. Very much appreciate all the support today. The bits, the uh, raids and the subs good to see everyone if you have a sub a gift sub or you decide to join the patreon check out the discord you get access any of those ways and uh it's a great little community it's uh, all behind support so it's not a public discord so if you're just like oh god another discord i have to join there's only like 100 people in there so uh it's a it's a tight knit little nerdy community that i think you will like so enjoy the rest of your day with ginger the lily and i'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock atlantic that's utc minus four hours bye for now